Hey you guys, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I know I am. Before we get into this video, y'all know the drill. Smash that subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell, so that way you're notified whenever I post my videos. Also, make sure you guys be active in them comments, smash that like button, and also make sure you're sharing my videos. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, question... Have y'all ever had an issue with a, a hotel as far as like it being trashy, infested, or whatever the case may be, and you booked through a third party and they told you like they couldn't give you your money back because they had to get confirmation from the hotel themselves saying that this occurred and basically give them the green light to give you your money back? Well, the shade room had an investigation with the Wyndham Hotel outside of Atlanta, Georgia. And according to these two women, they're infested with roaches. So the first woman claims that roaches were in the bathroom, behind the dresser, and coming out of the phone, y'all. And then she said that she notified the front desk clerk about the situation and the only thing they offered her was to move rooms now i used to work in a hotel before so the first thing they're gonna do is offer you a room but if you're not satisfied they're supposed to offer you your money back depending on the policy the lady said that she paid over 200 dollars for a weekend getaway and she didn't get her money back and she's pissed off like anybody else would she pissed off because you pay for a service you're paying for a room and you're expecting it to be clean sanitized no stains nowhere there shouldn't be debris behind beds or under the beds it should be spotless you know what i mean you pay all this money for just a few days of a stay or an overnight stay and you get shitty service you know what i mean from down from the room to the employees. The second lady said that she paid over $1,000 for a room at the Wyndham Hotel. And there were roaches in the bathroom, roaches in her mother's bed, and stains on the bed sheets. And when she notified the front desk clerk, they offered her to move rooms. She said she didn't do like a little back and forth because it was too early for that. And so basically what she wanted to see is if it was just that room in particular or was it the entire hotel or whatever so she took the next room and when she gets into that room she said it looked like they sprayed the roaches and just swept them up into the corner like they at home or some shit so she makes another complaint with the front desk clerk and the front desk clerk based off of her tone of reenactment of how the front desk clerk had to her basically the front desk clerk seemed to have had a little attitude and was like do you want our help or not we're trying to help you if not you could just leave i think i would have snatched her from over the counter because you're playing with me and the fact that you know that your hotel is infested in the way you're treating me it's just as nasty as the rooms that you got with a snatched her ass. Oh my God. So then the woman said that they booked through a third party and one of the ladies said they booked through Priceline and when they contacted Priceline about the issue, Priceline was basically saying that they cannot refund her money because they have to get confirmation from the hotel stating that this incident has occurred. And basically to give them Priceline the green light, to refund her her money but of course when priceline tried to get in contact with the hotel they denied what was going on then tsr booked the room and they said they didn't see any bugs but there was trash behind the beds there was a lot of debris a lot of hair there were stains on the sheets and everything so they ended up reviewing the ops manager aka the operations manager and from the look on his face, he know what's going on. But basically what he said was, is that they don't know if that these women are telling the truth or not. These women got videos of y'all shit with roaches crawling up the wall like they rock climbing. You got stains that are visible on the sheets. 
y'all got debris behind the beds and you feel like you got to see if these people are lying. You know what the fuck going on in that hotel. So to quit playing. These women need their money back. And I hate, I do not even like booking through third parties anymore. Like for real, for real. I hate booking through third parties because nine times out of 10 when shit like this go down, you can't get your money back. They going to do everything in their power not to give you their money back. And I feel like the hotel and the third party be working together for them not to give you your money back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what is going on in y'all hotel. Y'all not oblivious. If these people got videos, I'm pretty sure if they was able to show the shade room, the videos of their stay in the hotel, I'm pretty sure they showed them the videos too when they tried to get their money back. So I don't understand what was the problem. There should be something that can be done some type of loophole that these women could get their money back because two hundred dollars and a thousand dollars for a room yeah to certain people that got it like that that's not a lot of money but to people who value their money that's a lot of fucking money to just be getting ripped off and to be paying when you pay for a service like going to a hotel you're expecting it to be clean sanitize all of this stuff you're expecting it to look and be a certain way you've seen the roaches you see one of the people you seen the girl kill a roach in the video i'm gonna link everything down below so y'all can actually go check it out but you can actually see this person killing a roach you can see where the phone was knocked over and the roaches fell out you can see the roaches scaling up the wall so i don't understand what the problem is like why did y'all not give this, these women their money back? And I'm pretty sure they're not the only ones that have complained. The only thing is, is that these women went to the shade room with this. They putting it out there. These people in this hotel is nasty. They know they're nasty and they're not going to give you your money back. And the fact that the ops manager basically was saying that we don't know if they're telling. You would know. Y'all supposed to have, okay, with the housekeepers. You got a housekeeper and then you got people that are over the housekeepers that go behind them and check behind them to make sure that the room is clean. If it is not clean, either the housekeepers come back or the person, the supervisor goes behind them and they clean it themselves the way it's supposed to be. The way them rooms were, were so nasty. Like the, like the first lady said, she don't want to take that shit back home. Bugs will latch on and like say for instance, a roach can have slid up into her luggage or her jacket or a pocket or something and laid that egg right there in her pocket and escaped and by the time that she got home she's starting to see roaches roaches multiply multiply like freaking ants i don't understand but like i really hope these girls end up getting their money back now it's saying the um ops manager was saying that they have pest control come once a month if y'all had pest control coming once a month and y'all are still having issues with roaches, either y'all need to evacuate that building and let pest control bomb the entire building, each floor, or y'all need to throw the whole goddamn hotel away. I understand that it's an older hotel, but th that's still no excuse. I don't stay in hotels where they're older, but they're nice. They're clean. They're sanitized. So, you can smell the cleaning products when you walk in. So I don't, I don't know. I think I would have snatched some heads off. Like, I would have snatched her ass from over that counter because bitch, you're trying me and you're being funny. And just because it's not your money doesn't mean that doesn't make it funny. That doesn't make it okay. Bitch, I want my fucking money back. And Priceline need their ass whooped. Like, there should be a loophole. I feel like these third parties should allow people to get their money back. I feel like when it comes to these third parties, they need to go and check inside of these places before they sign any type of contract with these people. So that way, people don't be staying in no fucked up ass hotel. But anyway, y'all, I forgot. I actually had an incident similar to this i actually booked a hotel out of town and what happened was is that i booked through hotels.com and i ended up getting sick and 
I was like five hours away, but I wasn't going to chance me continuing to drive on the road, not with no kids. And my head is hurting me like freaking crazy and my vision is blurring. So I pulled over, booked the room in Tennessee and I called hotels.com and let them know like, hey, I'm not feeling too well. Um, I want to keep my reservation, but I won't be able to check in today because I'm just not feeling well and I'm the only one driving. And my hotels.com made it seem like it was okay. And they said they were going to contact the hotel. Now, I contacted the hotel on my own as well to let them know, hey, I have a reservation with you guys. I would like to keep my reservation with you guys. But the only thing is, is that I won't be able to check in today because I'm not feeling well and I'm driving on the road and I just cannot keep going. But I will be there tomorrow. The lady told me, okay, fine get to my destination and the next day and tell me why this bitch canceled my entire reservation and i couldn't get my money back hotels.com if when i contacted them about it because the girl the front desk clerk the same girl i spoke to the day before to let her know that i wasn't feeling too well she told me that i would have to contact hotels.com because that's who i booked for, through which understandable okay fine no problem no problem get on the phone with hotels.com and hotels.com saying that they won't be able to give me a refund until they get confirmation from the hotel stating that this did occur basically getting the green light to give me my refund the girl at the front desk that i spoke to the day before because i make sure i get names and all of that she told them that she does not remember me having no conversation like that with her at all and that I requested my reservation to be canceled and hotels.com took her word. And when I tell you, it took everything in me. It took everything in me not to cut up in front of my kids because I wanted to snatch her ass up something good. I wanted to snatch her ass real bad because I spent my money. And the fact that y'all two motherfuckers are in cahoots with each other and don't want to give me my money back, I ain't fucking with y'all no more. I'm not dealing with y'all no more whatsoever. So as far as like a third party going through, no, if it's not the hotel and themselves, I'm, I'm not doing third party whatsoever because it's it seems to be a problem with handling the customer's issue. Not saying that you ain't got people out here that scam on a regular basis, but at the same time, at least investigate it for me. Or if I'm not a person in their system that, because I used to book through Hotels.com all the time. And the fact that they handled me the way they handled me, like I'm signed up. I'm not checking out. I'm not putting my card information in as a guest. I actually have a Hotels.com account. And the fact that they treated me as if I was one of these people that paid as a guest or something like that to prevent creating the account, that really pissed me off because I had been dealing with Hotels.com for at least two, three years now. And it just really pissed me off. But anyway, y'all, drop y'all comments down below and let me know, have you guys ever dealt with a situation like this before? If so, drop them comments and let me know. I'm gonna leave all my social media accounts linked down below. Hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all of that stuff. But anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.